the MPs cautioned President Yoweri Museveni that if he does not crack a whip against ministers cited in corruption, they will be censured. Sources attending the retreat in Changkwan say the MPs who reacted to a presentation by the Makere University Don Professor Agustin Nwagaba say their chairman has not done enough to fight the rampant corruption, which they warn could bring down the NRM party. NRM caucus published a secretary, who is also Northern Youth MP Evelyn Anite, confirmed to NTV that Nwagaba asked the president to put more efforts in fighting graft. He presented about corruption in Uganda. He says that in Uganda today, we lose 13% of our annual budget to corruption, which is much higher than the budget that is allocated for Ministry of Health. But Uganda's response on corruption, on the fight against corruption, is only at 36%. He commended His Excellency for, say, for declaring in 2006 that there would be zero tolerance in corruption. He, however, said that there is need for His Excellency, the President, to strengthen that furthermore. In the morning session, the president presented a paper on the East African Federation, but MPs challenged him on the reinstatement of the presidential term limits. Outspoken Remyaga MP Thirodro Sechikubo told NTV that members asked the president to reinstate, the, to reinstate term limits before talking about the East African Political Federation. And he said you cannot achieve econom uh, economic integration without political integration. And then we put him to task to say, how do you promote political integration when you are incongruous? The rest of the East African countries are under term limits. But you, you have insisted on open terms. And you know the other partner states are suspicious that it is a ploy for you to rule the East African community as a king. At this hour, the storm meeting is still discussing how best the party can fight corruption. So they say the MPs want the president to be clear on which action he will take against those cited in corruption scandals and they're still holding government offices. Agnes Nandutu, NTV.